Hi, I'm Melanie McFarlane, IMDb's TV editor, and in this episode, I sat down with the stars and creator of AMC's Mad Men to talk about the hit drama's legacy as AMC prepares to air its final seven episodes. At its most basic, Mad Men is a story of a past, romanticized era of American history experienced from the perspective of Madison Avenue advertising executive Don Draper, played by John Hamm. When we first meet Don in 1960, he's at the top of his game. But over the course of the past seven seasons, Don's story has changed to encompass many themes. In its final season, Mad Men is taking a hard look at whether having it all is really possible, and whether the prosperity promised as a reward for hard work is really worth the sacrifice. Nostalgia. Oh my goodness. It takes us to a place where we ache to go again. I missed you. I missed you too. Who are you? I'm Peggy Olsen, the new girl. It's the end of an era. Mad Men, the final episodes. So Don has had a huge, huge evolution over this series. Just give us a very succinct, like, where he began and then where we're going to see him as this last seven episodes. Well, it is an interesting uh, journey as, 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 uh, as, as to look back on. Um, we were watching, we had a, an event last night, we were watching some of the scenes from the pilot that I hadn't seen in a while. And Don was in a much better place. And the culture in the United States was in a very different place. What a good idea to start this in 1960. Um, it's the beginning of a decade. And when we saw the first half of this last season, we see Don moving through an airport, Los Angeles airport, and it's this bright colors and mosaics and people and hippies and guitars and all of this stuff is happening, and then we see this guy who looks kind of exactly like he looked 10 years ago. And you realize, like, oh my God, like, he hasn't changed at all. The whole world has changed, and he has not changed at all. I think Roger's pragmatic and, and interested, and I think he's experimented with all kinds of stuff and um, ways of life and in an effort to stay interested. I think Roger remains someone who is smart enough to know that this ride is going to end and, um, and you better make the most of it. You come in and ask me to move just because you feel like moving. I'm comfortable in here. Or I wouldn't be sitting in here. Knock it off. I'm tired of everyone telling me to shut up. I'm not stupid. One of the things I've really loved about Mad Men is the way that Matt Weiner has written the women on these series. Yeah. Everybody gets to have different shades and represent all these different perceptions of archetypes for the time. Mm -hmm. So when you look at Betty and playing Betty over the course of these seven seasons, what has really stuck out to you the most about how she has been portrayed? I will be hard pressed to find something as uh, challenging uh, in my career again. Like, I mean, it was just each week and each season, he challenged me in a way that I've never been challenged. And it was just, uh, it was scary at times, but it was uh, very um, just artistically fulfilling. He could have written these women as, you know, just filler. I mean, we could have just been the secretary, the assistant, and the, and the wife. And, um, but he's fleshed them out and made them human. Uh, all the characters, too, I feel, but I think people single out the women, especially because it's not uh, common. But I think that they're just uh, fle is fleshed out, if not more than the men. Um, and I think that they're complicated and smart and interesting and brave. I wanted to discuss this, the themes. I know that you don't say much, or you're not gonna say much about what's gonna happen with the story, but I did wanna ask you about the title of the first episode coming back, Severance. Is yes. there anything to be read in that in terms of the overarching theme for these final episodes? I have to say that this, I will make this exception for this last season. The first seven episodes and the second seven episodes are part of one season. Mm -hmm. And the themes that are in the end uh, the ending episodes are have already been introduced and it's really about dealing with your mistakes and what you have control over and what you don't. I think it's too early to uh, come in and celebrate our technological advancement. I think that's worse than being late, isn't it? You're right. Good thinking. Maybe later. Off campus. Are you gonna miss this character? I am gonna miss it, yeah. How could you not miss 
playing a character who can who can uh, sort of size up a situation and 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 in one line kind of you know voice what everyone's thinking and then leave the room you know he has a really good ability or strong ability to to give you a good exit line what do you think people are going to walk away from the finale thinking or feeling what do you want them to take away from that final episode um well i hope they i hope they consider it time well spent honestly um you know it's it's not dissimilar to to reading a a long book you know and 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 at the end of it going like ah i feel like I feel enriched by that experience. And are you going to miss Don? Sure. Um, sure. What are you going to miss most about him? Um, I can't really. I can't really point to one thing. But I will miss. I will miss playing him. Um, and uh, uh, you know. And I, and, I, and and in the same breath, I'm. I'm. We'll be glad to see him go, uh, because it's time. Um, so yeah, I think I. I can. I can hold on to both of those opinions and, and validate both of them. When Mad Men premiered in 2007, nobody could have predicted how deeply it would influence popular culture. And after the series airs its finale, it will stand not only as one of the greatest works of the television medium, but a show that raised the bar of TV as a whole. I intend to savor every single moment of those final seven episodes, and maybe it goes without saying, but that's why this spring it is definitely what to watch. The final season of AMC's Mad Men returns at 10 p.m. Sunday, April 5th. Seasons 1 through 6 and the first half of season 7 are all available for purchase on Amazon Instant Video. To see photos and view the latest news about this title, visit the Mad Men title page on imdb.com or on any of our mobile apps.